But isn't it, this is what you are doing? What is the name of this guy, the, the blonde guy? The, uh, 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 Mimi Hijabi, he have a page for him in Facebook. You have like a hundred videos just to bash the guy. Hmm. Man. What is CP is doing? I'm exposing Islam. There's nothing about them. I don't care who they are. But I'm showing the world how faith is religion is. Because if this is if those are your best, what is about your worst? You know, remember, stabbing back is the flag of Islam. Who is the one who killed the caliphate? Muslims. Who is the one who accused the, 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 the death of Muhammad to be done by Muslim? Muslims. Who accused Aisha and Hafsa to kill Muhammad? Muslims. Who killed Omar? Muslims. Who killed Uthman? Muslims. Who killed the grandsons of Muhammad? Muslims. Who killed Ali? Muslims. I mean, name for me, one person is not killed by Muslims. So Muslim, not only they backstabbing by words, they backstabbing literally. For this is the religion of the devil. In one hand, they say that Allah taught us good manner. In the other hand, they slander each other non-stop. And if they could, they will hurt you physically. Uh, Abu Anisa saying, they are most certainly not our best. Okay, Abu Anisa, why you don't call me? And tell me who is your best. Guys, is, is that, what do you think? I am interested to hear from Abu Anisa, who is your best? Is your best the companion of the Prophet which the Quran spoke about them? Do you agree that the companion of the Prophet? Are the best? What do you think? Any Muslim would like to call us? They are certainly not our best. So who is your best? Don't tell me you don't have any. Hmm? Isn't it Omar who burned the house of Fatima and he even burned her and caused her to die? Isn't it Omar who broke the door of, 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 uh, of Fatima? Isn't it you Muslim Sunni and the Sahaba, the Muslim Sunni, they attack Ali? Isn't it Aisha she took an army of 10 men to kill Ali? Is Aisha one of your best or of your worst? Just let me know. Taking 10,000 people to kill the one who is married to the fake daughter of Muhammad. Muhammad, he claimed that a Fatima, the Muslim, they claim that Fatima is the daughter of Muhammad. But all of us, we know that Muhammad, he cannot have babies. Who is the best of you? What about Muhammad? Is he the best of you? He went to his own house, his own son house, when the husband is not there, and he flirted with the wife, and later he took his wife from his son. Is that the best of you? Don't tell me Muhammad is not the best of you. Isn't it your prophet Muhammad who made Khadijah father drunk and then after he got a drunk, Khadija and Muhammad, they took off his clothing and they changed it with nice clothing, which he used to wear for occasions. When he woke up, he said, why am I wearing those clothes? Khadija, she said to him, you forgot yesterday you married me to Muhammad when you were drunk. Is that the best of you? You make the man, you and your girlfriend Khadija, remember she is not married to him yet. You make a conspiracy against the father of Khadija. You make him drunk. And then you take off his clothing. And when we, he wake up, you lie to him. And you say, yesterday you married me to him. This is Muhammad. This is Khadija. This is Aisha. This is Omar. Isn't it the Muslim they accuse Muhammad that he's stolen underwear? 
Are they the best of you? You know, when the Muhammadan, they accuse Muhammad that he is a thief and he stole an underwear. And by the way, they were fighting over a theft. You know, the gang, like in, our, in the Middle East, they say, they did not see them when they stole. They, they saw them when they are fighting over the theft. And this is what happened to Muhammad and his uh, gang. And then Allah, he made the verse to prove to us that Muhammad is not the one who stole the underwear, but the fact this verse obviously proved that Muhammad is the one who stole it. Because if Allah is all-knowing, shouldn't Allah tell us who took it? Until now, this panty is missing. And there is no proof that Muhammad is not the one who took it. In fact, this verse proved that he is the one who took it. Because if it is somebody else, Allah should say who took it. Can't Allah say who took the panty? And what kind of God he made a verse about a missing panty? He make a verse about a missing panty. What he will do if it was a bra? He will make a book. Hmm? There's nothing in the description. Okay, we will add that. My Skype, let me post my Skype for now and I will add that later to my description. Give me a second. Uh, let us see. All right. This is my Skype. I will post it and later I will add this in the default of the description. Search for it and you can find me. Let us see a Muslim trying to call us. Let us call him. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Are you there? What? Hello? I don't know, he was making a funny noise. Okay, sound like he's a kid. If we have any real Muslim, please feel free, join us, and we will be happy to hear you. So as you see, this is a religion, everybody bashing, bashing everybody, and there's no decency in this religion. Muhammad himself, he was bashed by his followers, his companions, his companions kill each other. They slaughter each other literally. They accuse of each other of theft and lying and killing. There is a guy, his name uh, uh, Khalid Ibn Walid. He killed a man. He cooked his head. He cooked his head. In the same night, he raped his wife. And this man is a Muslim. This is the best of you. Amr ibn al-As, the one who became rule, later the ruler of Egypt, when he fought with Ali, he took off his panty and he showed his anus to Ali so Ali will not kill him. This is in your books. This is the quality of the campaign of the Prophet. A sheikh will call you and you will run and hide. Okay, I'm waiting for that to happen. This guy is calling again. Let us call him one more time. If he's a kid, we will block him. Hello? May, may Allah guide me to the truth? May Allah guide me to the truth? <laughs> Not a kid. All right. Let me block him. Do we have any brave Muslim would like to call us? Let us go back to the bashing party. Lady Dawa, bashing, great brother in Islam. His name is Samsi. Samsi, peace be upon him, who lost his teeth and says he is receiving good money these days, he fix it. Brother, 
What is the video? I'm getting... Oh boy. Here we go. The last one. So what happened? What happened? Uh, hijab? What happened? Tell us more about what's happened. Drama. You know? Can you tell us please what's happening? Mm, go ahead. <laughs> and what is your qualification, Lady Dawa? I mean, you are saying about the qualification of the guy. What is your degrees in Islam, both of you? Can you can somebody tell me who is those guys? They are talking about the qualification of other Muslim, but I would like to see your degrees of a qualification. Mumimi Hijab, you graduated from England, English Kufar University. They taught you about Islam. What you what you learn? What is your qualification, you and your girlfriend? Uh, uh, no sound. Hold on, hold on. No sound. Sorry for that. No problem. We were playing. We did not miss a lot anyway. They are just bashing. We will go back. What do you do? What do you do, man? Is he a backbiter? No, I'll tell you what he's like he's starting to become more and more successful. Yes. Online. That's what he's yes. doing. Yeah, that's what it is. You know, and yes. and he's one. And this is why you are bashing him because he become more successful between the Muslims. Yes, yes, this is the whole secret. He become more successful. Ah, now this is why you are biting him. Uh huh. Against them, man. If yeah, there's anyone course. that should be warned, is I've never seen Abu Tamia, so Abu Tamia slander someone, talk ill of people mm. like you do, mm. and your group does. Mm. But anyways, yeah, let's yeah, and, and, yes. and frankly, he's way more qualified. Yes, than one hundred percent. Well, he like went you, to Medina University. Yes, he's bro. The Quran. Hundred percent. Right. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. The guy's a student yeah. of knowledge. Yes, you should go study with him. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. well, like, you should go study with him. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm, 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 I'm being honest. You should go study with him. Well, the point is, is that he's he's got some tamak on. I mean, the guy's got some security knowledge. He doesn't go around making tabdi of individuals yeah. like this. Unlike, un unless most of the heads heads of the S pubs were absolutely mm. kicked out of uh, 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 these places. They have mm. no qualifications. Yeah. Anyways, Anyways, let's move Anyways. on. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. the, the, that was in the, sync, the, the first thing. Let's show, show the people the video in Arabic and then yes. I'll kind of translate what's going on. And yes. then, all right, so let's see the first clip. I think this is extremely disturbing, bro. It's so okay. distasteful. Let's take Guys, it's extremely disturbing. Look what happened. That's it, and then come back and respond in kind. <laughs> Shamsi is asking other Muslim who is a refugee. I want to record you saying that LGBTQ they will go to Jahannam, which means they will go to hell. So the whole video now is about this, and let us see what Mimi Hijab will say about that. You will not believe it what they are going to say. You will not believe it what this drama is about. Shamsi is asking this Muslim to say that LGBTQ, they will go to hell. And he said, let me record you saying that. Listen carefully. Bro, so let me explain what's going on here. So yeah. this, he is basically trying to get corner this man and incriminate him. Mm -hmm. He's He's trying to corner him and incriminate him. Look, 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 at the, look at the phrases. So Mimi Hijab is saying, this is a very bad behavior because a Muslim, he said his belief, and now we should not say that in public. So now the crime of Shamsi, that he asked a Muslim, who is, uh, have an argument with him, are you willing to say that those who they are LGBT, they will go to hell? The guy, he said, okay, record me. Mimi Hijab and Lili Da was saying that the evil Shamsi is trying to send this man to jail which mean Mimi Hijab and Lili Dawa, they don't dare to say that LGBT, they will go to hell according to Islam. This is the whole drama about it. He just said he's trying to incriminate the guy. So Mimi Hijab and Lili Dawa, they will not dare to say if you are a homosexual, you will go to hell. So now it turned to be the accusation is how you force somebody to say his belief? Can you believe it? What is the drama is about? That we Muslim, we should not say in public what we believe in, no more. Because that will incriminate us.
They are cowards. Those two people, they are cowards. They are accusing the guy of being bad, but they are the one who is being bad in reality because simply they are being hypocrite. They are talking about the guy being hypocrite, but now they are saying we should practice hypocrisy. We should not say that, even if we believe in it. Let us see. Brought his phone out and he's trying to get him to say words um, of curse to about the LGBTQ uh, people, homosexual people, and so on. And he wants him to say it in English language so that he can be implicated and so that see? for whatever consequences that may uh, happen to him mm -hmm. would happen to him by people who understand the English language. So see, so when those cowards they speak in Arabic, they say as they wish, but when they speak in English, they speak differently. Do you see why Muslims are not trustworthy? In the old days, if you go in Saudi Arabia airline, you will see a brochure, welcoming you in English, welcome to the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, where guests are welcome and we treat you nicely. The page in Arabic, there's a prayer. It says, Allah, pray like this. Allah, don't make us die in the land of the Najis, the Kuffar. Allah, don't make us die in the land of the infidels. Allah, don't make us fail in their hand. Allah, I mean, the, the, this is the, the to flight. This is the, the, the Saudi airline. So the page in English will come in you. The page in Arabic curse in you. In the same brochure. So, so in other words, so he's give, trying to incriminate him by saying that curse the LGBT, do this and do this. The first one he's doing is basically mm. is directly, basically in, trying to incriminate him. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, just imagine for a imagine, second. Yeah. Just imagine I go speaker's corner. Yeah. And I go to Shamsi and I go, listen, curse the LGBT. Imagine, it's disgusting, bro. I can't imagine. Imagine, disgusting, bro. Look, 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 look at the skin back. Imagine, disgusting, bro. Mimi Hijab saying, this is disgusting to say. Can you believe it? So they are saying we should not say that. We Muslim, we should lie. We cannot say that in public. And they are bashing the guy for he said what he believed. And they are accusing him that he is trying to incriminate other Muslim for saying that. Which means neither Shamsi, neither Mimi, neither Lili Dawa dare to say those words. Because they are potatoes. Because they are cowards. Because Islam is fake. So you will not say what you believe just because you're afraid somebody will take you to court? What kind of a believer you are? Oh, I forgot to tell you, we Muslims are allowed to lie. It's called taqiyya. Let us see, there's somebody trying to call. I don't know if he's a Muslim. We will give him a chance. <clears throat> I hope he will answer. <clears throat> Let us play the video until he. Uh, uh, he's not answering. Let us see the other guy. Uh, let me join. Join what? Yeah, there's somebody he is saying. Uh, he is 54 years old. I showed him the way to Jesus and he had some questions. My friend, this is not our topic now. If we are done, I will let you, I will take your call. Not for this now. Let us continue with this, Abdul. I, I, I leave everything and I go and he's looking in my eyes and thinking, bro, we're you, on the same side here. We're what? on the same side. What are you doing? And he's trying to maybe give me some signs with his eyebrows. Like, oh, don't oh, do that, yeah? <laughs> do you see, do you see, do you see the Muslim saying to him, don't do that, don't do that. We are on the same side. We are on the same side. Do you see the devil? Do you see the devil? The Muslim saying to the other Muslim, he was moving his eyebrows, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. We are on the same side. Do you see, you see, you see the filth? Do you see the garbage? 
Say, um, move, move your eyebrows again. Try and incriminate him. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, just imagine for a imagine, second. Yeah. Just imagine I go to speaker's corner. Yeah. And I go to Shamsi and I go, listen, curse the LGBTQT. Imagine it's disgusting. Bro. I can't imagine. I, I, I leave everything and I go and he's looking in my eyes and thinking, bro. We're you, on the same side here. We're what? on the same side. What are you doing? And he's trying to maybe give me some signs with his eyebrows. Like, oh, don't oh, do that, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine him telling me, bro, we're on the same side. Yeah. Maybe God. he's coming to my ear and saying, you know, bro, what's going on? And I'm like, no, no, no. Say it. You know, incriminate. Oh you know, say say that you curse them. Say that they're filth. They say that, bro, only a person with evil intent. 100%. Bro, you cannot have malicious. any good. Bro, bro. Remember, in the beginning, he is a good guy. He is doing dawah. He is sticking to the basic. And now we reach the point he is an evil intent. Can you believe it? In the beginning, we start saying the guy is a good guy. He do good dawa, And now, he is an evil intent. <laughs> what else? No chance. You cannot no have chance. goodness in you. He's trying, to put, he's trying to throw a Muslim under the bus. Impossible. On an issue which he agreed. Aren't you throwing? Okay, hold on. Listen. He says... He is trying to throw a Muslim under the bath in an issue which he agree about. So what to, what's your problem? Do you agree about it? Why you don't say it if you agree about it? So ah, so now both of you, you agree about cursing the LGBT, but you don't dare to say it because you are the man who get naked in the front of the Chinese embassy, but you are afraid to say a word in front of the LGBT because maybe they will F you, excuse me. Is that the reason? Is that the reason you are saying why you will not say the curse word to the LGBT community because you're afraid you will be effed by them? Maybe legally, not uh, physically. And maybe physically, we do not know. Is that the reason you're afraid to say it? What kind of a Muslim those Muslims are? So you go in Egypt, you are a hero. In England, you are an LGBT say, supporter. So if we ask you now, is the LGBT community in Islam are cursed, you will not say yes, they are? Is that what you are saying? That's what he is saying. He will not say such a thing. We just heard him saying that. Please with him on. Bro, and not, not, furthermore, an issue which his own teacher, the one who can't speak Arabic or read yes. the Quran, yes. who's Abu Khadija. Yes. The one who listen, listen. They are making fun of Abu Khadija. He don't speak Arabic. <laughs> listen, listen. They are making fun of the guy who claimed to be a sheikh. All of them, they are self-acclaimed sheikhs. So this guy, he don't speak Arabic. But all the Muslims in, in your TV, Zakir Naik don't speak Arabic. Hamza, he don't speak Arabic. All the potatoes who support you in speaker corner didn't speak Arabic. Lili Dawa himself don't speak Arabic. I mean, the guy next to you who is teaching people supposedly what is Islam, he don't speak Arabic. I mean, do you see the stupidity? Now they start bashing another guy. Why? Because you don't speak Arabic. How you can teach Islam and you don't speak Arabic? But he forgot that the guy between him, five centimeters next to him, the one who is wearing a blue shirt, he don't speak a single Arabic word. He's a Kurdish from Turkey. Do you see the hypocrisy of those people? So now they start putting other person down. If you don't remember, Abu Khadija, is the one we played his video or or a video uh, Mimi Hijab he made about him bashing him too. Mimi Hijab he said that those Muslims like Abu Khadija, the Muslim Salafi, which means the orthodoxy. Let me find the video. They marry women for two minutes. In, Ang in England, 
having sex with Muslim women is the best and the easiest business. And Mimi Hijab himself will show you, not me. It takes a few minutes to have a Muslim woman in your bed, according to Mimi Hijab. And not only that, they marry them in the elevator. Because he said, it's two, three minutes. You marry a Muslim woman for two, three minutes. Two, three minutes, not two hours. All you're happy to do, you and your friends, yeah, is acquiesce to the fact that you guys are going around, yeah, marrying people for two minutes and three minutes and five minutes and one hour, two hours, whatever it may be. Two minute, three minute. Did you guys did you hear it? The Muslims in London, they marry Muslim decent women who they are wearing their burqa and they have a brand new private part, never been touched before. This is what they claim that they are wearing burqa, they are pure. It turned to be that Muslim women in England are used for two minutes and then after that they throw them. Two minutes. All you're happy to do, you and your friends. Yeah, it's acquiesce to the fact that you guys are going around, yeah, marrying people for two minutes and three minutes and five minutes and one hour, two hours. Two minutes. I mean, you see, you Mimi Hijab, you are really a big fat liar. Have you ever heard of a man he can finish in two minutes? I mean, even a rabbit will take him longer. Two minutes. Are we talking about a bird? Muslim men, they marry women for two minutes? Do you see how when he tried to smear somebody, how they exaggerate with their gossip and their lies? Who in the world want to believe that there is, regardless if they are Muslim or not Muslims, who in the world want to believe that there is somebody marrying somebody for two minutes, muta? Sexual enjoyment for two minutes. Two minutes. Do you see how they exaggerate with their lies when they try to bash somebody? They never stop bashing each other. I will not be surprised if in the future those people, they kill them, they each other physically, literally. Hatred, this religion is full of hatred and anger. And all are fighting over what? Who is going to be famous in the community, who is going to be in charge of money, who is going to be in the front so he can be making the profit. They are following the profit profit. What's wrong with Nikah al Muta? Hmm. Okay. I don't think you're a Muslim. I think you're a troll. Do we have any real Muslim here? Any Muslim have a comment about the bashing party? Continue. He can't speak Arabic or read the Quran. He's Abu Khadija. He cannot speak Arabic. He cannot read the Quran. Can your prophet read the read Arabic? Can your prophet Muhammad himself speak English? Can he read his own book? They try to put a person down in any way. I have I have to agree that if you don't know the language, I mean, how in the world? Because Islam is based on Arabic. Islam is an Arab religion made for the Arab, for the benefit of the Arab, and the rest are potatoes. The best are puppies to control. The Arab are the gods of Islam. That's what it is. That's why, in order to be a Muslim, you have to speak to Allah in Arabic. You cannot speak to Allah in your Pakistani language. You can't pray to Allah in the language of uh, Urdu. You have to pray in Arabic, for this is an Arab man-made religion, for the benefit of the Arab to take, co to take control of everything. Islam is not just a religion. Islam is a hated crime. 
against the humanity, discriminate anyone is not an Arab, discriminate and favor, depend who you are. So if you are as an example, Muhammad himself, he claimed that Allah, he favor certain families. This discrimination start from the beginning. So Allah, he favor a family, and this is Muhammad's family. And that family is favored from the tribe, and that tribe is favored from the clan, and that clan favored from the etc. So all of it is about discrimination, discrimination, discrimination. And when the Quran says that you are the best nation for mankind, was speaking to the Arab, not to non-Muslim, non-Arab. And what the Quran says about being the best for mankind, the Muslim they say he is, you know, the, the those Arab Muslims, they are the best for mankind for the benefit of mankind. What is the benefit of mankind? When you hear the word benefit, you will believe it. It says for the benefit. I mean, what's what's wrong with that? You know, for the benefit. I don't see anything wrong with that, as long as it's for the benefit. Let us find the hadith. Read it. This is how Islam is for the benefit of mankind. The Muslims, they are superior. The Arab Muslims, they are in charge of all mankind because they are animals. The Muslims, they've been given command by the filthy Satan, Allah, Aka Muhammad, that you go and enslave everybody and put a chain around their necks until they convert to Islam. And the purpose of that to make Islam grow fast and the Muslim army grow with it. So they capture you, they torture you, they enslave you, they rape your wife. But if you want to avoid all those things, just say Shahada. Convert to Islam. By converting to Islam, you protected yourself from us. For this is a gang cult. This is a gang cult. I see many people trying to call me. I do not know why. You have to be a Muslim to call me. Don't text me and call me if you are not a Muslim. If you have a question, post it in the chat, not in Skype. Otherwise, you force me to block you. So now, what we shall do, Mimi Hijab? The guy who committed a crime because he made a Muslim say what he believed. And this is against Islam. Muslims should practice taqiyya and lie, especially they do not live in a land controlled by Muslims. We say it for one. The only yes. time read Arabic because we read the Quran, Abu yes. Khadija. Yes. We say it three times just so yes. that the people yes. in Birmingham know. Yeah, it's sunnah three times as well. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Sunnah three times. He said three times. This is sunnah. The Prophet, he repeat everything three times. A Muslims. As long as they mention this, can anyone tell me why in the world you Muslim you have to repeat everything three times? Can you believe it that the donkey Muhammad, when he go to a place, he have to say Assalamu Alaikum three times? Isn't it boring and stupid to say Assalamu Alaikum three times? Imagine you say to somebody Assalamu Alaikum, Shalom to you. Assalamu Alaikum, by the way, this is a Christian greeting. This is not an Islamic. Muhammad, he starts from the Jews. Since he moved to the Medina, which is the majority are Jews, Muhammad starts saying Assalamu Alaikum. So he enter a place, he says Shalom. People, they say Shalom. Muhammad, he say again Shalom. Hmm? They say to him Shalom. He have to say it third time. Shalom. Assalamu Alaikum. I mean, how boring, how stupid has an idiot. Any Muslim can tell us what is the purpose of saying it three times. And Mimi Hijab, he repeated, and Lili Dawa, he agreed. This is Sunnah, which means this is the practice of the Prophet. He repeat everything three times. So we are the Christian who believe in the Trinity. Muslim, they practice Trinity. If you ask the Muslims, what is the purpose of a three time? They say to you, this is the perfection of God. Perfection. Well, if perfection of God is connected to number three, so why you are upset with the Trinity? For God is perfect then. As long as God is perfect, 
And number three is the perfection. So why you are against the Trinity? Every single act Muhammad he do or he say he have to repeat it three times. Not only that, if a Muslim, uh, if Muhammad hijab, he divorced his wife three times, he cannot have her back unless she go and sleep with Lady Dawa. And then Lady Dawa divorce her and then she come back to him. Why three times? Can every woman do muta or it is a business decision? Uh, a woman who is not a uh, virgin, she can do muta by her command, which means by her decision. But if she is a virgin, her father have to agree. All right, depend if he is virgin or not. Let us see this guy. I will give him one more time chance. If he don't answer, I will block him this time. <clears throat> Let us see if he will answer. If you don't answer this time, I will block you. Hello? Hello? Who is talking? Abu Hubba. Who? Abu Hubba. Oh, I, I don't know. I feel like you are changing your voice. Can you speak normal? From Nigeria. Ah, oh, Fakira from Nigeria. What do you think, Fakira? Who? What do you think about those two Muslims bashing each other? What do you think? You know, I uh, don't know what you're talking about right now. Yeah, uh, they are talking about Muslims. They are bad. You know, they are liars. Oh, everybody lies. Yeah. Run. And, again, and so CB. so you lie again, so you CB. lie so you lie you change your voice you know last time you called me yeah. listen so, listen so listen up. listen let us show everybody who run last time you called me and you said to me that the shayateen is the one who is teaching magic but yes. the verse saying that the one who is teaching magic is the angels so who is lying loud in public? Who is the one who said the, the F? Who is the one who who is the one who said the F word to his prophet? Me or you? Let's who is the one? Around. Who is the one who described Allah as a big brother I and Muhammad is a smaller brother? Okay. Run. Listen, listen. No, I don't. I don't. I don't talk to someone like you. You are a low class person. Oh, you, are a you, are a you are a scumbag. You are a scumbag. You are a scumbag. You are a scumbag. You have no time here. At least bring us a man. You are a person who say the effort to your prophet life on air in my present. And not to mention you say the effort to my mother and etc. You are a scumbag. I am so disappointed that people of Nigeria are like you if this is the case. I hope not. You are the lowest ever I spoke to. And just to show the people how those people, they lie, they have no dignity. This person, he said he believed only in the Quran. When I asked him, what is the name of your prophet father? He gave me the name. What is the name of the prophet wife? He gave me the name. But this is not in the Quran. He said he don't accept hadith. He said, I said, from where you got this? He said, from the books of history. But this is hadith. <laughs> Scumbags. And the verse about... Harut and Marut is so clear. Allah, he sent Harut and Marut to teach men. To teach men. The verse is so clear. That's why I don't have, I don't, I'm not going to give you a chance to waste my time. But just to show people, just thank you for reminding me. How stupid and why the Quran is so stupid. And why the author of the Quran cannot be God. What kind of God he want to send two angels to teach? Magic. And the purpose is to make man and wife divorce. This potato he called and he says, it is not the angels who they are doing that. Read with me. Harut and Marut, but neither of those two angels taught anyone such a thing.
unless they tell them this is a trial. If you don't like this translation, we can use different translation. This is Hilali and Khan. All of you are the same bunch of flyers. We can even use the translation of Rashad Khalifa, the one who he himself he used. We can even read the interpretation of Rashad Khalifa, and then he will, you know, he will see he, he he's, he, he's in the size of a cockroach. Because even in the book of Rashad Khalifa, it says that he is Allah. He sent two angels to teach black magic. Oh, this is in French. Ah, this is Shakir, Shakira. The stupid Muhammad, he copied a legion story from the, the Armenian about two angels. Their name is Harut and Marut. And those angels, they came down to earth to teach men. They opened Harry Potter school. And when they teach any man, They don't teach. Without disclaimer. And then he will say, well, it says there that the shayateen is the one who teach Muslims. No, it was the angels. The angels are the one who taught. Shayateen and people, they learn from the angels. As you see in the front of you. Who is the one who taught the men and the shaitans? Harut and Marut. Yet these two, yet those, these two, two who, who? The angels, Harut and Marut. They taught no man until they had said, surely we are only a trial. So who is the one who taught the men and the shaitan? The angels of Allah. And here the first question you ask yourself, what a stupid religion. Not only they believe in stupid silly magic, which does not exist. They believe that God of Islam himself, he opened a school by sending two angels to teach them magic. And the purpose of that is divorce. And you can imagine here the evil of the God of Islam. Why you want to do that? How that is a trial? Trial to whom? What about the one who will get divorced if magic is true? And when Muhammad, he received magic according to the Muslim Sunni and the Hadith, did Allah do that intend to make Muhammad receive satanic verses and he can become under the influence of black magic? In the case of Muhammad, Satan he throw words in the mouth of Muhammad in the case of Muhammad, a man, his name is Lubaid ibn al-Asam, he took some hair from the anus of the Prophet and he controlled him by black magic. So the Prophet, his penis cannot stand up no more. I cannot find one decent Muslim. And we can open the interpretation for this verse. He will say to you, I don't accept interpretation. Right away you will notice that they are liars. Because if they are, if Islam is a religion, then the interpretation should be the same for everybody. Especially all of them, they are Muslim Sunni. We're not talking about Shia. You see, those bashing videos we are showing you, those are Muslim Sunni. All of them, they are Sunni. This is not Shia, Sunni, Ahmadiyya. No, no. Those are Sunni. All of them, they are Muslim Sunni. And as you see, the Muslim Sunni, they hate each other to death. And inside the Islamic Sunni cult, there's a millions of religions. Each one of them, he give you different understanding, different interpretation, different answer. If you have the same God, you should have the same answer. If you have the same prophet, you should same, have the same prophecy. But they don't have the same books. In the case of those people, they have the same books. But each one of them, he give you a different explanation for what is written in the clear Arabic words. Listen carefully to what is left in this video. Yes. 
That individual who's yeah. an imposter of a sheikh, an imposter yeah. of a, a student of knowledge. So you're an imposter of what? The fraud, yes. Abu Khadija. Hmm. He was done recently. I'm not sure if it came on the news even, right? Yes. Or some, some sites and stuff were showing hmm. that he was done because he's got some school that he's associated with. Yes. I think it's a primary school in Birmingham. Yes. And the um, authorities there said that his stuff was not uh, yeah. in line with that yeah. kind of thing. More traditional values. Traditional values and so on. And, so, and they were attacking him because, his, because of his views towards mm. LGBTQ and mm. so on. Bro, imagine your own teacher got attacked by that and now you're taking the same line of criticism and applying it on another Muslim because he's not from yourself. Well, it cannot, it cannot, the action this cannot is the be action of a nifaq. Well, this is action nifaq. I'm not saying he's a munafiq. I'm saying this is the action. Well, this is right. nifaq amali. Ah. Nifaq amali. 100%. This is what the disbelievers do. This is what the munafiqeen do. Yes. This is disgusting yes. behavior, bro. This means to say that what? If it's a, if it's a Muslim sister yeah. who's not from your sect, would you yes. let her get be beaten up, yeah, imprisoned? Yeah. Yes, they would. That, yeah, they would. They would. Yes, they would. Wallahi, they would, bro. I mean, Wallahi. They this guy. Let me tell you something. If they had the power, they would do that to us. 100%. 100%. Uh, they do the power. 100%. If they have the power to put us in jail, they will put us in jail. 100%. And I am sure 100%. If you get the power to put me in jail and to put him in jail, you would do that. I mean, you see the hypocrisy? Do you see the, do you see the scam bags? They are, saying, they are saying he wish, but are, don't you wish that to happen? Don't you? Plus, it's evil and malicious. Bro, ajib, man. Like the eye in the He's Quran. He's trying to put the guy in prison or something, isn't bro, it? Bro, the eye in the Quran clearly says, does the ayah say yes. those who are harsh towards the believers mm. and soft towards the disbelievers? Opposite, bro. Bro, the ayah is opposite, bro. So are you practicing this ayah now by bashing a Muslim and brother? Yes. 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 Bro, these guys are opposite, bro. I've seen the treatment they give disbelievers. Wallahi, as a believer, I get jealous. Look, 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 look. Jealousy, I tell you something, yeah? There's blame with the jealousy. Subhanallah. And there is. Look, let me tell you something. Aki, Wallahi, I look at them and I go, bro, I wish this brother. I wish he was us. I wish he was talking to me like that. I wish that brotherhood like that. Yeah, I wish. Look, once he called me a brother, I was so happy. I was happy. This guy called me a brother. He acknowledged me as a brother. Yeah, he called He said, our brother Ali. I was like, La ilaha illallah. I said, I saw light. I said, you know what? There's a hope in this brother, yeah? Subhanallah, as your believers. Like this, yeah, okay. we as your guys brothers are, key, are, are jealous, key. bro. I'm telling you straight, yeah. I am jealous that these brothers don't treat me like a brother. I'm jealous, bro. Oh, bro, God. and this is a good type of jealousy. You know why? Because yeah. you want it for yourself. You don't want to take it away. They should have treated you as a sister. <laughs> I understand anyway. what you're saying, Akhi, and this is upsetting. It's upsetting to everybody. Because the thing is, in the Arab world, Akhi, yeah. though, you should see the kind of backlash this guy's getting. Well, of course. People you know why? Shocked. Because, bro, people are shocked. Bro, bro, people in the Arab world come to me and say, brother, you know, what's the problem with you? Now they know the problem. You know what I say? I say, bro. Guys, people in the Arab world, they come to him. In the Arab world, he is he become the source for the Arab world. Nobody heard if you were in the Arab world. Are you serious? Brother, if the problem is with just me and Shamsi, Shamsi has a problem with 500 people. Either all 500 people are wrong or he's wrong. problem with them. He never, the guy is never, bro, this everyone. This is a madkhali jilt. This guy <laughs> is basically the purest of the madkhali yeah. sect. Bro, you cannot, uh, what can you expect from some? That's it, they gave him a new title. He's a madkhali sect. Hey, uh, uh, Mimi Hijab, do you like to call me and tell me what is the madkhali sect so we can, we can, uh, we can enter with you in it? <laughs> That's it. He is a madkhali sect. What is madkhali sect? Can you tell us? You know, we are not uh, uh, informed. Somebody like that, bro. Wallahi, like you said, if you were in Libya, he'd take a shot at you. Yes, hundred percent. I can bro. see this guy. Your blood is halal. Muslim or whatever. Yes. And we're not associated with that party. Yeah. But let's just say for a second, they'll like, shoot your head. Like the Khawarij did. These uh, individuals, bro. The way they think, Ahi, is so distorted, perverted. Bro. perverted. perverted. Not... So isn't it your prophet? If somebody don't agree with him, he shoot him in the head. <laughs> Isn't it your prophet? He ordered a Muslim should shoot a Muslim if he disagree with him, and if the other Muslim is wrong. Isn't it this is a practice of Islam? I have a challenge for those two potatoes, and I want every single Muslim to take to my challenge to them. Do they dare? to condemn the behavior of Aisha when she took 10,000 men to kill Ali and all those who support Ali and his family. Do you dare to go and say in video that the one who want to kill someone like Ali, obviously he is the fifth of the fifth. Do you dare? You don't. You don't. 
So here we go. Aisha, she wanna shoot Ali in the in the in the head, and she killed thousands of Muslims. Why you don't condemn her then? You are going after this poor guy. We'll see in the next clip here, bro. They're willing to even change the religion for this stuff. Why? What happened? Let's take a look at the next one. Uh, so, you saw Ali. He don't know what the video, what the coming video. What happened? Why? What happened? Let us see. They don't know. You see. I mean, this. You see that. They see the movie. I mean, you. You both. You sit down. You put the videos together, and now Ali is asking why. What happened? I mean, this is good if you are making a movie. Why? What happened? Now they are talking about the Christians. Now they are talking about the Christian who is bad, the LGBTQ or the Christians. Listen carefully to the opinion of those and the opinion of Mimi Hijab. So let me explain what's going on in this video. Explain, explain. explain. In this video, yeah. he's effectively saying to to the, him, "Look, the guys are the Saudi bro. Who is this Saudi bro? I, I don't know. I don't know him. I, okay. I, I don't know him. I what's he doing in the UK? I don't know. I have no idea. Like, I don't okay. know exactly what's going on, right? Okay. I, I think he's sought asylum or he's got Ghani. I don't know what exactly what he's doing. Okay. But this individual here, they're having this discussion and he was talking about it, me and Abyssinia, Abyssinia or Ethiopia or whatever and the Najashi and whatever. And yeah, we know the Sahabis ran to... Ran and I think he was trying to make the point that, you know, sometimes you can go to a non-believing person for safe haven, right? Of course. And so uh, they, they came to this point of discussion where he's saying, which one's worse? homosexuality or saying that Allah has a son and this brother here the Saudi says you know the Quran says yeah you know the, the heavens and the earth were going to be uh, the heavens were going to be cut asunder and so on because of that so how can you say which is worse he says which is worse so Shamsi says he says that actually why is he asking this because people don't understand the context that this brother he's has saying that because look this and, and, and Najashi for example right yes. he's from my understanding I might if, he, and Najashi he was uh, a Christian, a who, Christian who believed that Allah had a son, yes. and yet you know they, the Muslims sought haven, safe haven with him. So Shamsi is saying to him basically, "Why are you in this country that promotes LGBT?" Uh, yeah, yeah, which one is worse? But okay, that's, that's what so, it is. so so and then from the discussion goes to which he, is worse? Yeah, which is worse? So he's saying, "Well, of course I have to come here." Shamsi is saying it's yeah. worse. It's either either hulilat, meaning it's the halal happens, yeah. And by the way. This Shamsi is meant to be Arabic is meant to be his first language. Mm. He's fumbling all over the place. You would not assume at all this is his first language. Wow. People are saying in the comments, people, any Arab that's watched it, is saying this guy does not speak well, well, Arabic, well, English. He cannot speak. So now he start bashing him in the language he speaks. This guy is born. I mean, he is in South, from South Africa, so the Arabic is different from our Arabic. And now Mimi Hijab, he start bashing his Arabic, and his English is bad. And this is what will, will, will disqualify him. But now the question is, who is worse? You see, they said that if you if you curse the, the LGBT, that will incriminate you and will take you to jail. We should not ask a Muslim to say that because we are in the same side. So we are evil doers who hide what we believe because we don't dare to say it. And now they are saying, well, now they are arguing about who is worse. The LGBT or the Christian who say that Allah have a son. By the way, we don't believe in Allah. Your God doesn't mean anything to us. However, we will go with you. Which one is worse for you, Mimi Hijab and Lili Dawa? The LGBT or the Christians? Speak English or cannot speak Arabic. And this is not just to put him down, but just to let him know his level. Yeah. The man, if you're going to make tabdi'ah of individuals and take people, take the hukuk, the haq of the individual away. Ignorance, bro. You have not, <laughs> no mu'ahalat, you have no ahliya, yeah. you have no qualification, number one. You cannot speak English properly, number two. Number three, you cannot even speak Arabic properly, akhi. Yeah. You cannot even speak Arabic. You're making problem when you read the Mus'haf. You are at that level. <laughs> people, you think people...
Hey, Mimi Hijab, do you like to make a video about Sheikh Uthman who do not know how to say two Arabic words yet he claimed to be Sheikh? Isn't it all your Sheikh don't know Arabic? Continue, continue. We'll take you seriously and you have clout because you give down on the streets. Mm -hmm. Akhi, you give down on the streets, give down on the streets. Stick to that, stick to your lane. You're making aqidah blunders mm -hmm. and I believe you're doing it intentionally mm -hmm. so that you can mislead the people. He's saying actually it is worse to do istihlal of homosexuality than to say Allah has a son. Where is the evidence for this? Yeah. Wait, where is the evidence for this? You stupid son of Muta, isn't it your stupid Quran saying that you Muslim can eat our food and you can even marry Christian women? So how saying that Allah have a son is worse than being a gay or homosexual, yet you have no problem that you have kids from a woman, she worshipped God, which is not your God, are you allowed in Islam to marry an LGBT community? You will say no. So who is the worst? You see how hypocrite they are? According to them, Shamsi is saying something not true. What is the evidence that those who they are LGBT, they are worse than the Christians? So now we are assuming that both of us, the LGBT and the Christians, we are bad for them. We agree. Okay. We are bad for them. Thank God we are bad for them. But we cannot even forget that Islam is the most evil intent cult teaching hate against everybody, but yet they don't dare to mention it. He just mentioned that we should not say anything against LGBT. And now they are saying who's worse. Can you believe it? And what is the evidence that LGBT are better than Christians according to Mimi Hijab. Can you give us the evidence? They quote a verse, the guy in the video, he quote a verse from the chapter of 19, 19, yeah, 19 verse number 19. But the Quran itself, you stupid, says that you can marry Christian women. The Quran says that a Christian will go to heaven. Isn't it the Quran says that those who they are Jews and those who they are Christians and those who they are Sabi and they will go to heaven and have no fear. So how the LGBT is the LGBT community they will go to heaven in Islam? Yes. Just to make it clear in Islam, if you are an LGBT, you go to heaven and I challenge life on air any Muslim to say I am lying. I challenge any Abdul, including Mimi Hijab and his girlfriend Lili Dawa, to call me life on air and prove me wrong. LGBT in Islam, they will go to heaven. In Christianity, you cannot. If you are a gambler, fornicator, a drunken person, even if you are a person who keep drinking and are drunk, all those, they will not go to heaven. You see, we are not like the Muslims who don't dare to say their belief. We here, we say what our Bible say. Liars, fornicators, thieves, criminals, LGBT, whatever you want. Whoever don't obey the teaching of the Lord, he will not go to heaven, period. In Islam, no. In Islam, there's only one sin, if we can call it a sin, will not make you go to heaven. Let us see, we have Abdul maybe trying to call me. Somebody saying, come to Iraq, I will beat you. He will beat me like a dog. My friend, I joined the U.S. Army when our army was in Iraq. Trust me, if I was there, you would be hiding like, like, like a cockroach. The same as Saddam Hussein, we found him inside the hole. Do you remember your president, the Muslim Sunni president? We, find, we found him inside the hole. So don't tell me if I come to Iraq. We have 80,000 Americans in Iraq. They are laughing at your prophet. And your Muslim mullahs don't dare to do anything to them. 80,000 in the American embassy. I mean, have you ever heard of an embassy have 80,000 people? 
And what kind of embassy that embassy is? Anyway, let us call this guy from Iraq who want to beat me. We are calling him. Look like he is not receiving my call. He is in the same hall with Saddam Hussein. Answer, answer. He is not answering. All right, coward. This is your Saddam Hussein hole, just to remind you. Hmm? He was hitting himself like a rat. You're a Muslim hero. Literally like a rat. Look at the hole he is sitting inside. The hero of Islam. And when they got him out of the rat hole, he did not take a shower maybe for two months, three months. All of you are heroes. 2,000 Marines, American Marines, was controlling the country. It's called Afghanistan. And when they decide to withdraw you claim victory, they are running away. But they told you they will leave four years ago. In fact, they have an agreement even with them to take over. <laughs> 20 years controlling Afghanistan and the Taliban is 180,000 fighter. 2,000 Marines. Only. 2,000, not 3,000. Let us see, we have another one trying to call. Let us hope he will answer. He is not answering. Hello? Yeah, it must be Fakira again. Hello? Hey, Fakira, how are you doing? Do you have your boyfriend with you, Fakira? Why do you keep calling me? I mean, is it, didn't you have enough? Honestly, how many times I spanked you and you keep calling? Why you are changing your voice? I mean, don't you have a dignity? I mean, if you are a man, speak like a man, but you are not. You don't speak Arabic, oh, you do not know Arabic, and you are a Nigerian, and you change your voice sometimes to be a female, sometimes to be a transgender, sometimes, I don't know. Listen, listen, listen. Why you keep calling me? Don't you have enough videos of you being busted? Be honest. Do you are, are you became addicted to spanking? Are you become addicted to spanking? Why you to speak? Huh? Oh, why? Uh, do we have any brave Muhammadan? He can talk like a man. Do we have anyone is a real man between you? Anyone? So Muslims, who is the worst? The Christians or the LGBT for you? So if the Christians are the worst, why the Quran promised them to go to heaven? Yet they don't believe in Allah. They don't believe in Muhammad. I mean, do you see the stupidity of those people? Oh, they will say to you, Muhammad at that time in the beginning, he was trying to make them a Christian believe in him. So he promised them heaven, you know, yeah. yeah. And later he says, no, they were not, you know. In the Quran, not a single place state that if you are a homosexual, you will go to hell. Who is a Muslim when I challenge me? Anyone? 
Many Muslim. Many Muhammadan. Who dare? Any Muslim? Muslim don't have a religion, don't have God. This is a scam back religion. Do as you wish, you go to heaven, just believe in Allah. Prove me wrong. In Christianity, no. Because you cannot be a believer in Jesus, and you do an opposite act of the teaching of Jesus. In Islam, no. In Islam, you can be anything. As long as you believe in Muhammad and Allah, you are very fine. This is First Corinthians. saying to us who do not belong to heaven and the list is long clear and simple clear and simple and that in us that all of you muslims will go to hell because you are not righteous you teach having sex with kids you teach hatred you teach lying. The man can lie to his wife, even the wife she lied to her husband. This is a religion of liars. You allow things against the Ten Commandments from the beginning. As an example, you can wish a woman she is not yours. And this is what Muhammad he did. You do worship images of someone he is not even in your God. You kiss black stones. You bow down in front of them and you claim that touching them erase your sin. You are greedy. You go to war only for the sake of the booty, not for the sake of your religion. You are drunkards. The Quran says that the Muslims in the time of Muhammad, they used to be drunk all day long to the point when they pray, they fail apart. And when the Arab and the Christian, they start making fun of them, Muhammad, he says, avoid alcohol. He did never say it, it's forbidden. Never. Ijtanibu, Ijtanibu, avoid it. There's a huge difference between it's forbidden and avoid. In fact, the Quran make it so clear that alcohol is a miracle of Allah. If you remember once, there's an idiot, his name is Monkey, uh, he, he used to call himself uh, Monkey Box something, Nader Ahmad. Nader Ahmad, he go around, and he have, you know, like this guy, he's the same as Muhammad, uh, you know, Muhammad, he say something, they keep, he keep repeating it. He keep repeating it. Nader Ahmad, he called David Wood. He called uh, uh, all whatever names you want. And he said to them the same thing he said to me. That those who drink alcohol. Actually, I will make you hear some of it. I want from you more. I will make you hear some of it just to show you how stupid this religion is. And as usual. In order to make a Muslim answer you about something he mentioned, he is the one who chosen the topic. You have to repeat the question a thousand or a million times. And the funny is, you will see some Christians saying to me, Christian Prince, you have to be more patient with Muslims. Let us see what they say about alcohol. After you agreed that your prophet have sex with the goat. Actually, he's here. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, let us call him. Let us skip the beginning. And right away, you know, Christian Prince, you are running away from me. Hey, Nader Ahmed, how are you? Hello. Well, hello, CP. How have you been doing? After all these years, we finally...
Pete, this is very good. I get a chance to meet you. How have you been doing? Thank you. I'm very fine. So what do you want to say to us? Go ahead. Yeah, so, you know, uh, we've been having these wonderful debates on the Bible, Quran, and modern science. Mostly Quran and modern science. But, and what? So he was having debate. He's talking about who? Speaking to David Wood and Apostate Prophet and all the list of those names. With them, you can play games. With me, you're a potato and see what happened to him. There, he was doing good. If you watch his, uh, you know, uh, his video with uh, David Wood, uh, you know, I mean, he was able to uh, to to go around any uh, uh, any corner. Here, in two minutes, he been cooked and smoked. Quran, I have a Quran, and science, Quran and science. Absolutely, we've been having these discussions and debates, and I have said Christian has been running away from this debate series because he knows that the Quran is in complete harmony with modern science okay. and there's okay. 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 okay, give us one, give us one, give us one. Let, let us not to waste time, me and you. So for some reason your voice is cutting. Well, let us, give, give me one, well, give, you me need one to end or, give me one yeah. record. Okay, listen, you have to why were you running away from me from this debate? My People said, no, 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 see who is Don't make excuses. We are here. Let us see who is running. Give me a miracle. Let us laugh. Uh, well, here's what I would like to do. This guy is the same as Fakira. He's been spanked, and my fingerprint is all over his bum for the last century. And he go around, and he say, Christian Prince is running away from me. The fact is, he is so stupid to talk to him. I don't want to talk to him, you know. He's so, so stupid. I find him so silly. I mean, it's, there's no point. And I, I have my reason to see that he is a stupid. I mean, look how many times I will ask the same question. I will keep repeating the same thing. You know, like they don't even have an IQ to speak to them. So I will say I run away from a goat. A goat I already butchered. I mean, the guy, he agreed with me that he's a prophet, have sex with the goat. What I want more. I, I finished this guy a long time ago, and he keep going around saying, Christian Prince, you don't want that. And I am live on Skype all each time. You can call me anytime. How am I running away from you, you stupid liar? And I say to myself, let me give him one more chance, the same as I do to Fakira. Maybe, maybe now he got smarter after 10 years. I left him for 10 years. I did not talk to him. 10 years since the last time he slaughtered his prophet. After 10 years, he come to me with this. I will skip the beginning and I will go where he start the topic because he will waste like 15 minutes just to talk about uh, nothing, you know, as usual. Okay. Debate on this topic. So that's the agreement here. Okay, so let me go ahead and go to the verse in chapter 5, verse 90. Okay. It says, Forbidden in Hold on, the teachings what? of the Quran, the Muslim women are 50 times less likely to give a, a baby, uh, I'm sorry, to give birth to a baby who has fetal alcohol syndrome. The study said you got to go to the Christians because of the influence of the Bible. So the question tonight, which Christian Prince needs to answer here. So you remember, this is the topic now. This is the question and this is the challenge. In the minute 5, 22 in this video. Christian Prince run away from the beat in Nadir Ahmed. I like the title. Is okay, so the book on the they gave an answer to this question of alcohol. And when we look at the Quranic answer, it is a far superior what answer. Is the, what is the Quran answer? Until now, you will not give me the verse from the Quran, remember. <clears throat> we'll talk about chapter what well, I'm sorry, you, chapter what? What'd you say? What chapter chapter five talking? verse nine? What chapter? Chapter five verse nine. Chapter yeah, chapter five, 5, verse 90. Chapter 5, verse, verse 90. 90. Okay, tell me about it. Go ahead. Now we know what you're talking about. Go ahead. Okay, and then I'll tell you about it, but I'm following the rule because I'm, I know you you will not run away from me and we'll debate on this topic. So that's the agreement here. Okay, so let me go ahead and go to the verse in chapter 5, verse 90. Okay. It says, forbidden is uh, alcohol, any kind of intoxicants, mm -hmm. gambling. Okay. So from here they pointed out that this that Muslim women are 50 times less likely to give birth to a fetal alcohol because of the teachings of the Quran. Now the question is here, which you need to answer is how is it that the Quran but, gave a better where, where, response? Where is speaking about the, the, the alcohol is bad, where it says that? 
No, it says for you forbidden is yeah. any kind of intoxicants. But where it says, and, where it says it's and because bad for, of that, where it says it's bad for your health in the verse you quote for me. That is bad for your health. No, it is completely forbidden for Muslims. This is clear. Okay. And from the study another, again. Uh, another, another, another. Yes. Yeah. I, I'm asking you a very simple question. You say that this is about health. I'm asking you, why in the verse never say anything about health? It says this is from Shaitan. That's all. Because it's from Shaitan, don't do it, correct? Yes, this is from Shaitan. And so, because as a study concluded, it is the teachings of the Quran. Hmm. which caused Muslim women to abstain from alcohol. And so the question from again is that how did how could Allah of the Quran provide a better response okay. than Jesus of the Bible on the question of alcohol? Somebody, uh, just to stop here, somebody is telling me about what the Muslims are doing in France. My friend, I'm so happy to see what's happening to France happening. Those French people, they deserve more. You are stupid. You open your doors for them. And now let them burn not only your churches, your country. You deserve it. You brought fire to your country. You are a stupid mule. Don't cry and don't come to me and say, look what they are doing to us. That's what you do to yourself. Nobody else did it to you. <clears throat> are you going to wake up? No, because the French people, they have a stupid mentality. They became so liberal. Even the one who claimed to be Christian there, he is an atheist in somehow, some form. Very open-minded. Stupid. So don't cry. I mean, you bring all those people who have no background check, you give them citizenship, you give them papers, you give them housing, and then you complain for they are burning your country. Are you stupid or what? Yes, you are. So good for them, bad for you. Actually, I wish that the Muslim will take over France so they can teach you how to believe and how to behave for the rest of your life. You deny God. You stay away from God. You promote everything ugly against God. You discriminate the Christians. You allow a president who is not a Christian. You allow a government which is against the Bible. And then you complain why this is happening to you. You deserve it. You deserve it. And you deserve more. The same will happen in England. The same will happen in Spain. The same will happen in Sweden. The same will happen in all those European countries. Your women are going naked in the beach. You promote the most evil things a man can promote. And then you are wondering why this is happening. God will unleash every scum back against you. Take it from me. I will never be sorry for Europe. And I say you deserve more. You are not civil. You are stupid. Civility has nothing to do with your stupidity. So don't come to me and say, look what they are doing in Europe. They are not doing anything. It's you who did it to yourself. You don't even have an army to stop them. You don't dare to say what's happening. Even when they burned the church of Notre Dame, you did not dare to say that the one who burned it was a terrorist. Until now, the police did not release the report who burned the church. Because you have a coward president, you have a coward police, you have a coward army, and you have a coward citizen. And all of you become politically correct. Nobody there to say what's going on. Nobody there to say all of you are a bunch of an idiot. For me, I will tell you my honest opinion. I'm happy to see what's happening in France. Because if you don't see how stupid you are before it's too late, you will never see. But are you going to see how stupid you are now? No. Even if they burn half of the country, you will not. Because until now you are politically correct. Until now you are foolishly correct. Until now you don't dare to say the truth. Until now they don't dare to say the one who is doing this is certain group, certain people, certain religion. They should just keep saying immigrant. But this is not true. Is the Christian immigrant burning cars? No.
Is the Arab Christian immigrant burning the cars now? Why they don't dare to say? Because they are cowards. Me, myself, actually, I watch uh, uh, France, uh, official government TV station in Arabic. They are encouraging people to go in the street and burn cars. You believe it? This is the government TV station in Arabic. All those who work there, they are Morocco and Algeria, etc. And they are igniting the fire more and more. And they are condemning the government and they are asking people to go in the street. This is the truth. So don't cry. I believe that every nation will eat from each kitchen. When you stay away from God, God will take his protection away from you. And this is what will happen and what's happening to Europe. Your government is a bunch of dummies. Your president is not even a man. Your your police, even a police, even if a police now, if I want to stop somebody, he don't dare to stop anybody. Because everybody will blame him. Everybody become guilty if he's a police. So who's going to make a law and order? Nobody. Even in America, when a person, he commit a crime, and then the police, they use excessive, let us say, force. He died. They made it about race when the police chief is a black. The mayor of the town is a black. The majority of the police station is black. Even those who they are in the scene, the one who supposedly caused the death of the man, many of them, they are not even white. They make it about white and black. Because nobody there to say, this is not really about race. The man, he broke the law. If he did not break the law, how come, we, why we don't show the police shooting a white man? Oh, if it's a white man, it's okay to shoot him. <laughs> Hypocrisy. Nobody want to say the truth. I am a Middle Eastern. I am an Arab. Nobody is shooting me. I have a very clear accent when I talk. Why they are not doing that to me? Because I did not break the law. I did not steal. I am not doing any crime. So if you don't do break the law, nobody can be close to you. This is the fact. So if a guy, the police stop him and he start to run away and then they shot at him, the question is, why he run away? Unless he is criminal. Always the hypocrites, the, hip, the hypocrite, they try to make it either about hatred, religious, etc. But the truth is, if this guy was an Arab or a Christian Arab or a French, how many times the police in France, they shot at somebody ran away? How come if it is one of those, we cannot shoot at them? So you can shoot at somebody, he is a French citizen, but we cannot shoot at you if you are an immigrant from Morocco? How come more than, there's a huge number, if we go right now and check, what is the percentage of Muslims in jail in France, we will see that the percentage is five, six times more than their percentage in the population. Gang, drugs, prostitution. This is the truth. Anta kathab, limada lam <laughs> a guy is saying to me, you're a liar. Why you don't agree that Prophet Muhammad was in Cyprus? <laughs> yeah, my friend, your Prophet was in Cyprus and he speak Greek too. I remember the chapter of Calamira. Do you remember it? Do you remember the chapter of Calamera? Hmm. Yeah. Let us continue. So this guy now, he come to us and he says, alcohol in Quran is forbidden. And this is a clear scientific evidence that the Quran is the book of God. How is that? 
there is a huge number of those Christian women they give birth a defect because of alcohol. I say the only birth defect I see is somebody believe in Islam because you have to be a, a person who have mental issue. In fact, Muslim countries have the major birth defect for very simple reason. They marry their cousins. This is literally real. Muslims, they marry their cousins. And all of us we knew marrying your cousins will cause a birth defect for it's the same blood. So the cousin married the cousin and then they have a child and then the child he married the cousin. Again, it's like marrying your sister, non-stop. That's a question you need to answer okay. now. Well, okay. And so no, no, this no, no, no. Let, let me just get it clear. I'm just trying to get a full sentence from you. So are you saying the Quran confirmed that alcohol is bad, no matter what? The Quranic position is that it is forbidden. Yes, it's no, forbidden. forbidden. I, I know it's forbidden. This is not a question. Are you saying that alcohol is bad no matter what? It's bad. It's ugly. Yes or no? No, no matter what. No matter what. But I think these are irrelevant questions you're this asking. You're question. running away this from the, the study. This is the topic. Running... This is the topic. Wanna... See, it is an irrelevant, irrelevant question, brother. So he's just talking about alcohol, how bad it is, and now he don't want to tell me if the Quran is bad or good, suddenly the question is not valid. The whole argument is about the, the alcohol is bad. And I'm asking him, can you say to me, is alcohol is bad or good? He didn't want to answer. You know why? Because those Muslims, they knew that when you talk to Christian prince, you have to be careful. Never say yes, never say no. If you say no, you're in trouble. If you say yes, you're in trouble. So what is the solution? Don't say yes, don't say no. Even they have an article about how to debate a Christian prince. Even if he said to you, your prophet was a wonderful man, don't say yes. Because there is a trap behind it. And don't say no, because there is a trap behind it. So a Muslim, he called me, he starts saying to me, so what are you trying to say? Abdul, just answer me. Is it good or bad? Are you trying, what are you trying to imply? Like, Abdul, my question, is it good or bad? He will not answer. And I have to repeat the question a thousand times. I don't know if alcohol is bad or it is but not bad. Is it bad or not? I mean, what's wrong with you? So you are saying to me, Quran is forbidden uh, alcohol. Okay, forbidden because of what? Because it's good or because it's bad? Yeah. What? You don't understand the question. I so know. I need you to take no, some time. I mean, this is my question. This is my you don't question. understand your question. <laughs> you need to take some time. Question. This is my right. question. This is my question, not yours. The Quran forbid alcohol. Is it because it is bad or because it's good? You're saying okay. So you're saying alcohol is forbidden. I'm not saying. Is it because it's bad or good? You, why you are in trouble? Very simple question. How many times I need to repeat? Listen carefully. The Quran forbid alcohol. That's wonderful. Oh, Does the Quran forbid the alcohol because it is bad or because it's good? So the reasons why the Quran forbade, there's actually a reason in the Quran. They said, there's some good that outweighs the good. Why you look at the, the answer? And why, so why the issue making, here... Why you are making a speech? I mean, the answer is very simple. Allah forbid alcohol because it's bad, or Allah forbid the alcohol because it's good. Which one? Choose one. I've already given you the answer. Now the, not, the no, issue, I'm, I'm going to read it no, to you. I, and you got no, to I want a clear answer. Is it bad or good? Is alcohol is bad or good? See, CP, I need you to stop interrupting me. I know you're scared. Stop, I know this is the point you are not able to answer. And what... This is how you debate Muslims. Somebody asking me, why you don't debate Muhammad Hijab? I called him, he hung up on me, don't you know? The coward, he told the Muslims, who you want me to debate? And he put a list. They told him, Christian Prince, he's making out of Muslim, leave Islam. I called him. He hung up on me in less than six minutes, seven times. Don't you know? Coward, he did not even allow me to say anything. <laughs> so is it bad or good? I have to repeat the question a billion times. And he is afraid to say because he knew the second he say the answer, 
Allah will be fried. He did not know what Christian Prince will say next, but he knew that Christian Prince, he will say something horrible. So is it bad or good? The same topic he have and he brought to David Wood and the rest. None of them asked him, okay, is there, uh, so is it bad or good? No, because, because they didn't know how to debate. They do not know the mentality of the Muhammadan and they don't have the knowledge in the same time. They are limited in their knowledge about Islam and they don't have the skill of the, how, to, how to play with the, with the rat. You know, the problem of a Christians when they speak to a Muslim, they assume that they are speaking to someone is religious and he will say what he believes. This is wrong. Muslims don't say what they believe. Muslims, they say what make Islam look good, even if it's not Islamic and have nothing to do with Islam. So when you debate a Muslim, you are not debating. You cannot debate a Muslim because you cannot debate a liar. So what we do? We bust them. We don't debate them. A debate can happen only between two decent people. I tell you what I believe. You tell me what you believe. Muslim don't do that. We just heard Mimi Hijab and Lili Dawa complaining and accusing another Muslim being evil because he made other Muslims saying his belief that he cursed the LGBT. They will not say that. They will not say what they believe. So now the question, is alcohol bad or good? And here we go. I will keep saying the same question for the coming 20 minutes. One word, is it bad or good? You are the one who chose the topic. Everybody is my witness. And now you don't dare to answer. What's wrong with you? Okay, Allah forbid alcohol because it's bad or because it's good. CP, CP you got to let me. Don't interrupt me. You have I'm to let me answer. Okay, we're going to have an intelligent making a speech. I mean, the answer is very simple. You call me, you say, according to science, proving that women, they give birth and they have a, a, a defect in their birth. That's wonderful. That means alcohol is bad. So why you don't say it's bad? Is it bad or not? You know, the, the, the issue of the Quranic position on alcohol <laughs> is that there is some good in it. My friend, I want okay, you to go mention to okay, me. There is, some is it you who mentioned to me in the beginning saying that science proved that most of women who give a defect birth, the reason for defect birth, and you, you mentioned the word the Christian specifically, that the reason for that the highest percentage is yes. because of alcohol. So is alcohol is bad or good? Okay, <laughs> you see, he is going mute. He's going silence. He's thinking what I should say. He tried to avoid it first time, second time, third time, first time, seventh time. But Christian Prince, he keep insisting. This is something they don't face with others. With others, you can avoid the question by just ignoring. It. With the Christian Prince, no, he hold you from your tail until you say the answer. He did his best to ignore the question, but Christian Prince, he will not let go. Never let go with Abdul. For this is a strategy. They jump like monkeys from a topic to topic. And he will not answer the question you ask him because he knew you, especially if he knew you. Let us see. Okay, your question, if I understand your question, you're you're saying that overall alcohol like good or bad now he's trying to understand the question after a thousand time repeating the question i am trying to understand your question is that your question i mean this is even your topic and you don't even dare to answer you call me saying that because of drinking alcohol women do give birth to children who have defect in their birth okay that's your claim and you claim this is from science that's wonderful now i'm asking you based on what you told me is that mean and based on the Quran forbidding the alcohol, does that mean according to Allah, alcohol is bad or good? Oh, I think I understand your question. Your your question is, ah. okay, did Allah forbid alcohol for a specific reason of preventing fetal alcohol babies? <laughs> is that your question? No, no, what's wrong with you? You are in trouble. You are like a cartoon, Mickey Mouse. You are, you are in the corner. You do not know what to say. I'm asking you, is it bad or good? Very simple. Don't, I, tell me, don't tell me any reason. I want to know. Is alcohol, according to the Quran, bad or good? Ah, bad. Okay, did I answer your question? Thank it's you bad. Finally, but there's a little bit of good in it. Okay, finally, you said it is bad. So That's how it. come the Quran says it is good? 
Here we go. This is the chapter 16, verse number 67. You made me lose my voice, repeating the same question. The Quran says that the alcohol is amazing drink. It's the best. It's a miracle of Allah. Read for me the verses. <clears throat> Anyway, you can watch the uh, you can watch the rest of the video. It turned to be all this drama. At the end, the Quran says that alcohol is good, <laughs> and not only that, it's a miracle from Allah. And this guy, he go and he take the same topic to David Wood to everybody, every Christian he speak to. He says to him that scientific study says that uh, alcohol cause uh, defect in birth uh, for women. How come the Quran uh, forbid it and the Bible did not? Hello, you know. And now we found that the Quran actually claiming that even alcohol is made by Allah. It's a miracle for those who have wisdom. It's in front of you. The one who have wisdom. It's a sign from Allah. So when you see somebody is drunk, it's a sign from Allah. It's a miracle. Even alcohol, you see, in the Bible, we have Jesus making a real miracle. He made the water wine. Okay, we can say this is a sign of God, right? But here, the God of his time, even he claimed that when people get drunk, they are the wise one and they should appreciate the miracle of Allah, which is alcohol. Abdul, Bambu, I have no time for kids. Your prophet was in Cyprus. Okay, do you do you have reference or your prophet was in Cyprus? So we can put him in the screen so we can laugh. Give me the reference. Stop repeating the same thing. Your prophet was in Cyprus. No problem. Your prophet, he won in Cyprus. Where is the reference? Go ahead, Charles. So we can laugh at you. Potato. Uh, mental illness, you know, they have mental illness. Let us see, we have somebody trying to call us. Let us hope it's a real Muslim, not uh, uh, another Fakira. <clears throat> if you are a Muslim and you are interested to join us, feel free. Just call me in Skype. He is not answering. All right, let's hang up on him. He is not answering. Yeah, see the Muslim, they are covered. They say to me, I cannot try it now. I cannot try it now. What's your problem? So why you are, <laughs> you know, guys, look, look at the stupidity of the Mohammedan. This person, he just called me and the miss called. You see it? I called him back right away. He is saying, not right now. So why you call me a second ago? I want to debate you. We called him. He just called me. So when you called me, you were not able to debate me and now you cannot debate me. You remind me of your prophet who received verses opposing each other. In the morning, he received a command. Afternoon, he received the opposite command. Do we have any brave Muhammadan? Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to our channel. And just to remind you, from now on, we will be in this channel for some time. I you I, I was going live in my other channel. However, always you can receive an update by Patreon. And don't worry, you need to not you do not need to make any donation. You go to Patreon; it's for free. You subscribe for free. You do not need to make any donation. Our service is for free, and we know that the majority here are very cheap, and they like free things. They love the free things, right? But no problem. We are serving the Lord. After all, do we have any brave Muhammadan? So it turned to be that all the drama of the Muslims about forbidding alcohol, Allah himself was praising alcohol and saying there's a good provision from it. 
and it is being a miracle. In fact, you see, uh, in in Arabic, it says rizqan hasanan, and it used the word sakaran, which mean being drunk. He did not say just alcohol. He said the good thing about it, it make you drunk and you make good money from it. Good provision. Do we have any Muhammad that would like to join us live on air? So when those potato, they say, which one is worse? Homosexual or Christians, Mimi Hijab and his girlfriend, Mimi Dawa. We find it very funny that they are talking about who is the worst when number, the major number of people in jail, criminals, are Muslims in England and in France and in Holland and in Sweden. We find it funny that they are speaking against homosexual, claiming that they have a better ethic, but in their countries is the most fraudest country ever you can imagine. I don't want to mention where Lili Dawa is coming from. It is Turkey. If you don't believe what Turkey is, if you do not know, go and check what Turkey is. Drugs, thieves, scams, prostitution. When they ask Erdogan, minister of religion, why you don't ban the bars and the alcohol? Isn't it this is an Islamic government? He said, who is going to pay for our salary if we do so? What about Egypt, where almost every citizen take hashish? Where if you go in the bus, 99% you will lose your wallet unless you hug it between your both hands. Can a woman, she go in the bus in Egypt without sexually being molested by a thousand men? Remember, those are the countries where they have ethic. They speak too much of ethic, but they have zero of it. And when a Muslim, he want to seek refuge, why he don't go to Muslim countries who have a good ethic? Why they go to the countries of the bad ethic people? It's just a question. Why those even they are in London? Why Mimi Hijab is not in Egypt? Which one is better? A country who have a mosque in every corner or a country where homosexuals are allowed. And even they have a festival. And they don't even dare to say anything about it. What's happening in Lebanon? They deserve it too. Christian in Lebanon, they sold their land. You have fake leaders, you have potatoes. You don't have leaders. Christians in Lebanon, Jewish in Israel, they need someone like David. This is your problem. You don't have a real leader. All of them, they are hypocrite cowards. All are politically correct. Even your patriarch there, he is a scumbag like the rest. You don't dare to say the problem is Islam. They don't dare to say it. Cowards. The problem is not politics. The problem is not money. The problem is not anything. It is Islam. Islam is a problem. Bring Islam to any country, the country is going to collapse. It doesn't, even if it's heaven. Name for me one country Islam came to it and become a better country. The only countries can be successful if Islam just a name, like in Dubai as an example. Islam is just a name. It's just, it's just a pure name. There's not, when I say pure, I mean I don't mean Islam is a pure. I mean it's just a title. In reality, nothing in Dubai have to do anything with Islam. There's nothing Islamic there except the mosque. This is the truth.
Name for me one Muslim country is successful. Even the successful country, when they build something, they have to hire somebody who is not a Muslim. In fact, in case you do not know, me as an Arab Christian, I can get visa to work in Dubai or in Imar and or in Bahrain or in Saudi Arabia way more easier than a Muslim. Anyone knows why? Did you 